everyone welcome to my channel so let's have uh, this uh, uh, weekend outlook on the stock markets so, so last entire week we have seen the markets have completely into negative uh, so we have seen a lot of volatility so start from uh, march uh, 13th we have a huge fall in the uh, nifty uh, as well as sensex almost 900 points up down and then again some recovery we have seen in 14th and friday again on 15th uh, we have again uh, we have seen the negative and almost markets have reached below 22,000. that is has been uh, uh, taken towards 21,980 level now uh, we have seen and even sensex below 73,000. so what happened suddenly why it has become very much negative the first reason uh, uh, we have seen in the FII selling and you have seen US markets and global markets are little bit uh, uh, like uh, down uh, on the uh, Fed rate, interest rate, uh, uh, <clears throat> uncertainty uh, decision on that and some uh, economic data of US data is negative. So the global impact of negative that is showing on Indian markets uh, and on domestic front uh, we are seeing uh, the stress test taken by the uh, by the SEBI, so SEBI asking all the all the uh, AMCs uh, to be uh, open and show it on their websites and AMFI is uh, asking all AMCs uh, to show uh, uh, the test uh, on stress test what is this and all and we will do it in some other uh, other video but uh, the, so all these regulations by the SEBI and AMFI on the market especially on the mid cap and small caps have already corrected almost 13 to 14 percent down from the 52 week uh, so this is how uh, uh, it is uh, the negative impact we have seen and another other side the uh, the politically uh, the elections are coming up and today the notification is coming for the general elections and the elections are taking place in the april end so that kind of uh, uh, that uh, volatility we are seeing on that issues of upcoming elections and uh, especially the electoral bonds issue is uh, taken up by uh, very seriously uh, before elections uh, uh, so this issue is also is uh, making little bit nervous uh, and this controversy is going up and up uh, uh, on in the stock markets and in uh, political uh, uh, surroundings also it is taking uh, a huge importance on uh, electoral uh, uh, bonds uh, issued by the SBI. So these are all the things we are seeing some negative uh, things has happened and markets are into too much volatile so now what next in the uh, upcoming in the next week outlook could be definitely it will be the same it will be more volatile and now we are seeing 21,850 and uh, uh, 21,750 is the support levels uh, right now at the nifty so if it is stayed uh, uh, so that there is a possibility of again we can uh, uh, catch up uh, or we can recover can we can see the recovery but if it is break uh, 21,750 uh, the markets have been breaking so we can see the next level is 21,500 so on and whole the broad range for the nifty we can see uh, 21,500 to 22,500 as a resistance level so these are the levels we can look at so but the new traders and all uh, SEBI even also even uh, NSCMD also is urging all the small investors and retailers to stay away if you are not ready for the uh, risks that is happening uh, in right now in the stock markets either in uh, in trading side or in the mid cap through mutual funds in mid caps and small caps uh, everywhere if uh, risks uh, need to be taken care very seriously because the markets have become very volatile uh, session nowadays making uh, uh, losses uh, to the especially uh, to the retailers uh, and the uh, small investors so be careful uh, in the stock market for the next few weeks uh, upcoming uh, due to the upcoming elections and this volatility and this controversy and the SEBI regulation so all together we are seeing some kind of nervousness in the stock markets thank you so much for watching for more updates like this please uh, stay tuned with us thank you so much